Hey, it's Denise Graves with the Graves Group. See us grow. Here we are with Jennifer Wilson. She's our latest addition to the Graves Group, and I'm especially proud of Jennifer. She's got a lot going for her. She's been in, she's actually a third generation realtor. I don't know anybody nowadays I can say that about, but she's been doing real estate for about 17 years. She graduated from UT, Hook'em Horns, I guess. My husband's an Aggie. Mine is too, so. <laughs> and she, but she started out, oddly enough, as director of First Impressions in Austin with a real estate firm. And she's lived in Leon Springs for what, 10 years? 10 years now, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's kind of local, but really close to our office. And Jennifer does a lot of cool real estate, but one of the things that she's kind of passionate about that's a little different is she works with seniors. So I think today, let's talk about what does that mean to work with a senior? So it's a little bit of a different type of move, right? This mm -hmm. isn't a traditional move, even for my seniors who have made many moves. Mm -hmm. Having so many military people here in the Metroplex, they've made a lot of moves. This move feels different when they're a senior because a lot of times they've been in that home 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, sometimes, right, and there's that much stuff in the house too. Uh -huh. Tucked away in closets and we start wondering who put all this stuff in this house, right? Mm -hmm. And so there has to be a lot more planning, a lot more moving parts than a traditional move. Um, there may be an estate sale involved. We may need specialized movers if they're moving into a retirement community. That's a different type of mover than just calling Atlas movers or something something like that to move the whole household. So it has a different tone, it has a different feeling with that. Um, sometimes there's other decision makers involved. Sometimes someone has lost a spouse, so there's more emotion involved with that type of move. Um, so it's just a lot more hand-holding than, than a lot of other moves. And I enjoy that, I, I have the heart for it. So That's yeah. awesome. Well, but all real estate transactions need empathy, right. to know the right people to help you make the move and to be able to handle the different parties that might be involved in a transaction. Yes. Because I would think you might have death of a spouse or maybe a parent's died. I know we're all, mm -hmm. some of us are getting older and I know when you have parents die, sometimes as, a, as the child, you're left with that house to take care of. So I would think your skill set really lends itself well to that as well. Absolutely, and sometimes with those type of moves, there's some legal complexities as well. So we have to partner with some elder um, law attorneys as well to navigate through those complexities. So there's a lot more moving pieces to it and you don't want to get to the closing table and realize you have a major hurdle that you didn't even realize was coming up. Um, so I think with all real estate, it's important to have foresight so you know what's coming down the line and that can only be learned with experience but all different types of moves can have all of those hurdles if we can see them in the distance we can make a plan sounds great well we're really excited to bring jennifer on to the team and i hope you get to know her and if you've got any questions give us a call